My test is next week and Saturday. And I will have my freaking life back. And I'm so excited and so freaking happy. Today I haven't decided if I'm going to just relax because I've been, I should be looking here. I've been studying, 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 studying. <laughs> These cool local soaps. This is in Whole Foods. That smells good. Herbal lavender. Hey you guys, so you saw me at Whole Foods earlier and I did pick up the soap so you guys so this is what it looks like smell it mm. <laughs> hello 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 hi cool hi Boy, hi. Hi. Good boy. All right, you guys. I don't think I ever showed you. Be quiet, cool. How the fireplace looks. So this is the wall-mounted fireplace. You can also, um, you know, sit it on something. But we decided to wall-mount it. I don't know why the blue is looking like that because it's digital, I guess. You know, my window's open. I'm trying to get it from the side. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It gives off heat up to 80 degrees or 85 degrees, I think. That's what it looks like from the side. I'm trying to. The glare is a lot, but I absolutely love this thing. At nighttime, it looks so beautiful. It also has. Uh, Oh, if I could show you. Yeah, I'm studying, you guys. But I got a little chilly, so... It has LED lights. I don't even know how to work this damn thing. Oh, oh wait, maybe. Oh, there we go. You see how on the side, it has the LED lights? And you could kind of change them. So, we have, like, an amber, the blue, and then it has, like, a another function where it kind of changes automatically see like like that has like that moving sort of thing but i'm gonna turn the lights off i don't need the lights i just basically turn this on for the heat and you could kind of turn this off too like if you see i changed it could lower it higher it higher it <laughs> make it higher Oh, okay. I don't know what I did. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys it. Um, I didn't buy this. Hubby bought this. I'm not even sure where he got it from, but I had been asking for one for a few years. And he finally um, got it for us. And I love it. And it really does get the room um, warm. My living room's not huge, but it's a decent size. And it'll get this whole living room nice and toasty, like in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But if you sit right on top of it, you're warm, like instantly this little area is just like our little sitting area um we read a lot over here because you know, there's a nice bright window right there and it's just cozy so i'm gonna get back to studying and i will check you guys later okay <clears throat> i knew i forgot to show you guys something else so this i bought this vase again i was looking for a more springy type color this is the sun is kind of drowning it out but you can see it's like an amberish orange i still thought it was absolutely beautiful and you guys know i love to do fresh flowers so um i bought this to put on my table once i change it um probably today or sometime this week this was like 7.98 9.99 
they had it in like I said a turquoise color and if I would have purchased the turquoise placemat I might have got the turquoise um, vase but I didn't so I got my gray neutral placemats and then I just purchased this like earthy color so I can put my flowers in all right I also purchased some pads no, I'm just kidding well these are pads but they're not for me they're for Cooper as you can see they say flight liners disposable liner for flight suit so that's what they look like basically like a pad like you know as a woman this is the flight suit I don't know if I um, spoke about this before but this will allow Cooper to actually come outside with me without escaping or flying away because he does he can fly as you guys know this is the harness that um, attaches to this, you know, so he cannot get away. I've been meaning to purchase this forever. I have um, sort of this flying vest thing, but he never took to it, and I just don't even know where it is now. So I ordered another one. This will also allow Cooper to walk around the house. These attach to the inside of this without irritating him. I don't know how, but I'm going to figure it out. And he can walk around my house without pooping and me having to follow around him with baby wipes and spray every five minutes, which is the main reason I actually purchased it. I do want to take him outside, but um, the main reason is because he poops and I do not want him pooping in my damn house every time he's, you know, free to roam around. So as you can see, it says, please allow three to five days conditioning. That basically means I have to get him comfortable with this thing and um, there's a whole instruction booklet in here on what I have to do. I sort of know what to do because any new thing like this that gets introduced to them, you have to make them feel like this is like the greatest thing. If not, I will never be able to get this thing on him and he will rip it to shreds and probably rip me to shreds. So three to five days of conditioning. I, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to start that, but I want to have him used to this bird diaper flight suit before it gets nice outside. Because obviously in the summer, I'm going to be outside a lot more. And the sun and the fresh air is just great for your pets in general, but for birds especially. Like Cooper is always in the house, and although you know I don't keep him, as you guys can see, confined to his cage, just natural sunlight vitamin d you know him getting to see like the trees and hear the other birds which is great for his mental health and everything so definitely this summer i want to be able to take him outside and this little contraption in these pads <laughs> if he's sitting on my shoulder i don't have to worry about the poop and you know i can kind of let him fly around and keep control of him because there are eagles around here there's hawks and they look for you know little birds and stuff like that so i need to be able to keep complete control and, and an eye on him and this is what i got i don't remember how much this was so i want to say it was like 30 dollars with these liners but i'm never going to purchase these again i'm going to make my own probably with some paper towels and something a diy because these things are expensive i don't know why they're so expensive they really look like a regular woman's <laughs> bad but whatever and um yeah that's i think that's all i think that's all you guys <laughs> Bye. all right good morning good people it is sunday morning i am going to quickly show you guys what i got yesterday from i literally just woke up so excuse my voice i'm gonna show you guys what i got yesterday from home goods really quickly because i'm not gonna hold this stuff i have to put it away excuse me okay so I purchased excuse me these um, blackout curtains so there are two window panels I have grommet uh, curtains in the bedroom these are thermal woven blackout window panels I like my bedroom to be dark in the morning this is also good for saving 30% on home heating and cooling costs, which I thought was great. Light reducing blacks out 98% of the light and it reduces outside noise. These panels came two in a pack and they were only $19.99. I thought that was fantastic because I was looking at some other um, 
blackout curtains and they were like 50 60 dollars a panel so this was two panels for 20 bucks can't beat that and i got three of these because i have three windows in the bedroom and they all have two curtains so i needed the same sort of setup for the blackout ones okay and then i bought this bag here which is an what does that say? Olivia and Joy. Um, I've seen the name before. I don't really know, you know, if it's a popular brand or what. But I just like the bag. I like the, um, excuse Cooper. He just got up as well. Um, I like the green quilted look of this. And it has leather straps. I needed a few new bags. I, I got another one from Target and I paid this bit as I forty something dollars for it and I would never pay I would never want to pay that much for a Target bag <laughs> Target bag. This is what it looks like on the other side. A little zipper here, just perfect. This is what the inside looks like. This was forty bucks I believe. Yes, thirty nine ninety nine. The tag says the original tag says $98. So, picked that up. That was not on my list, but I was like, oh, I need it. Oh, and I like that it has the zipper so you can actually close the bag. My other bag doesn't have a zipper. Alright, let's go show you what else I got. Alright, guys, so I just wanted to show you what I was talking about as far as the other um, ice cream scooper is. So, obviously, this is the brand new one that I believe is stainless steel. I didn't completely read the whole package and this is the other one that i i think i got this from target or something but look look at this look at the metal this is clean i've, I've washed this several times even look at how the metal is like chipping away so this is not this is not real steel obviously and this chemically made whatever this is is corroding and yeah i don't want to eat this or serve anything using this freaking scoop so that's why i bought a new one but look how bad that is it, it looks like i was dipping this shit in acid or something like it's just like ridiculous that's the handle so let's hope this one works out much better look how nice the handle is all right cooper is already up it is not even nine o'clock yet and he's making his rounds around the house walking around the house pulling things apart singing being loud you know what he does i have to mop this floor again although i mopped it yesterday cooper ate something that my husband gave him and now i have to clean the floor again right cool cool ah, ah, ah. He would open that drawer if I let him. Goodbye. Alright guys, so this is the table that you saw us um, sort of contemplating whether or not we were going to get in Home Goods because we have a fireplace here, like the ones you mount on the wall. And we wasn't sure if um, the table was going to be too high and block it. So we actually bought both tables. I'll show you the other one in a second, but this is the one that will work here. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. I love like the detailing, you know, how this is shaped and it fits in with our decor perfectly. This sort of bronzy goldish color um, fits perfect with like our artwork. Here's some art that we have on the wall. So it all kind of ties in together and I love the mirrored top. So, you know, if someone's sitting over here, they can definitely enjoy the fireplace as well as have a, a table to sit like their drinks with a coaster, of course, <laughs> or whatever, you know, they have. So we did purchase this and it works perfectly. So we're, we're going to keep this. But then if you saw the vlog, I'll link it below. There was another one there, which is this one. It's the same exact thing, except it's shorter. And there it is. 
we wasn't sure which one was gonna work so we bought both and this one was a little too short um, for by the fireplace but we might actually just keep it as a little side table because it works well like right next to the chair we haven't decided yet so this one was $39.99 and this one was $49.99 and I think that's it I think that's all I bought Okay, I laid all my stuff out on the table so I could just show you guys and then I'm going to put it away. I bought new, um, and you might have seen me vlog this, new placemats for the table. These are like a gray material. I really was looking for colorful ones, like springy type placemats, but for whatever reason, I'm still always drawn to like neutral colors. Like I, I had... A colorful set like round ones and they were like I think turquoise or something like that and I put them back I was like oh this might be too colorful so I ended up just getting gray and my kitchen is basically black white and gray so these are the new ones <laughs> these are the old ones um this is vinyl 100% woven vinyl you can easily just wipe it off they were only $9.99 for a set of four which is perfect so I got those. I'm going to change these out for those probably today. <sighs> the story with these sunglasses. Okay. So I picked up these sunglasses. I can never go to like a place to sell sunglasses without buying a pair of sunglasses. Um, they are Betsy Johnson. They were only $9.99. This is what they look like. I thought it was really cute. It had this little heart thing on the, um, on the arm. The girl that checked me out was not the brightest cookie in the pack. This had a security, these glasses had a security thing on them. As you can see right here, the left arm is crooked, like slanted. The poor girl could not get the dang security thing off. And like I said, she was a little special. And she basically bent the damn arm of the glasses and i didn't really realize it at first i even offered to help her because she looked like she was struggling i was like do you need me to pull that off of you and she's like i got it i got it so i'm like okay and then she kind of just like wrapped them and threw them in a bag so i didn't even really notice that they were bent because i would have probably been like forget it so i got these uh, i don't know if i can bend them back the correct way i'll have to see how they sit on my face but yeah i got those they were 9.99 I also got these, which I thought were so cute in my favorite color. These were $9.99 as well. Who are these by? Oh, these are Jessica Simpson. So those were the two new shades I got. Okay, what else? Picked up another set of these sort of kitchen spoons. I just threw some out. This is a five-piece utensil set. As you can see, there was only $6.99. And they're all like attached to this little thing. I probably won't, won't keep this, but I needed some new utensils. I also picked up a new ice cream, ice cream, <laughs> ice cream scooper. <clears throat> the one that I have, like the metal, this was five dollars. The metal is um, like corroded, like it wasn't like real steel and I guess from the cold and then being washed in hot scolding water, the fake metal uh was deteriorating and it like all where the scoop is it's all messed up i'll show you guys but this one has a lifetime warranty and um die cast i can't see what it says i'm assuming this is steel it says limited lifetime warranty but anyway i needed a new ice cream scoop i got that i also picked up this um non-gmo avocado oil mayo so i told y'all when i don't feel like making my own mayonnaise i do buy mayonnaise um and we just bought a whole big thing of tuna so i wanted to have some readily available and this probably will last longer than the homemade one 7.99 it's expensive but i also purchased this strawberry balsamic jam and it was $4.99. I actually had this at someone's house, a friend of mine. So that's what made me get it. it it's very tasty. Um, you guys probably saw this in previous clips. Um, oops. I bought this for my bathroom. I'm going to be putting up those acrylic shelves. 
which I have not done yet because I haven't decided if I'm going to paint over my walls in the bathroom white or if I'm just going to leave them like the deep turquoise color. I don't know yet. I was supposed to kind of be doing that yesterday, but the timing didn't work out. So I got this for like Q-tips, facial wipes, and whatever else I decide to put in there. And then I also picked up um, some sides for dinner. Butternut squash, risotto, gluten-free, all natural, which really doesn't mean much. But um, here we go. G Non-GMO, which I always look for if it's not organic, vegan, and gluten-free. And then I also picked up some Cajun Dirty Rice from the same brand. Same thing. Oh, and these were uh, how much were these? Four ninety-nine. They have like Home Goods has like that cool little section with like food and stuff. I always look there because they have stuff for such great prices. Like for example, <laughs> this um, Himalayan pink salt. I try to buy this um, often. Cooper in his box and as I said if it's not organic I look for the non-gmo label so this is non-gmo and usually a big thing of salt like this in Whole Foods could be anywhere from like nine to like twelve dollars this was only five dollars and look how big that is and Himalayan pink Himalayan sea salt is so good for you so I have one now but it's like halfway done so I just picked up another one and I also picked up um, some organic turmeric tea. Turmeric is another great herb for you um, that keeps your body healthy. And as you can see, it is organic, fair trade certified ingredients. This is from the new meat brand. And I think this was $5 too. So as you can see on the back, look for these things. Carbon free, which I just spoke to you guys about in previous clips about the carbon, the metals, the chemicals in these teas. Also non-GMO, USDA organic. Yep, and this was only $4.99. I think that is, oh, I wanna show you. Hey, Tubian, good morning to everyone. It is Thursday, St. Patrick's Day. I am just arriving at my job's parking lot. <laughs> 